I get up to oppose this bill today for the simple reason that this is not the time to be doing this. You know, if you look at the Secretary of State's website, over 12,000 businesses closed in the year 2011, last year. Since 2008, we've been in the toughest economy that's imaginable. If you don't think that we're in tough economic times, just look at the state, the state's budget. You know, we're in session this year to make adjustments to that budget. Even the state of Connecticut is having a hard time raising revenues to make ends meet. So if the state of Connecticut is having a hard time raising revenue, where does that revenue come from? It comes from the citizens that live within that state through taxes. So we are indeed, we have to all agree that we are indeed in tough economic times. You know, I want to share with the chamber a story that I read in the Hartford Current because I think it really summarizes the difficulties businesses are having here. And it happens to be about a business that's in my district in the town of Middlebury. It's Quasi Amusement Park. quasi has been in business for uh, 104 years. And it's been owned by uh, George Francis and his family for over 80 years. According to this article, Quasi Amusement Park has to compete with New York and Massachusetts markets when it comes to amusement uh, of, his, of his caliber. He hires up to 300 seasonal workers. A 50 cent increase in the minimum wage would cost him $150,000. $150,000 more on a business that's already struggling. Keep that in mind as we're debating this bill. This is a real story. This, this, this is reality of what's going on in life. I know many times in this chamber, we kind of lose a sense of what's real, what's really going on in the real world. This gentleman has uh, made an investment to build a water park in his, in his park. And according to him, if this bill passes, he's going to have to cut back on that investment. He likes to give his seasonal workers raises if they return. He will not be able to do that if this bill passes. What kind of a message are we sending to him and to other businesses in the state of Connecticut? You know, here's a, here's a company willing to invest in this tough economic times, and we're going to hinder that. He's going to have to hire less employees. You see, he's a family business. His, his pay structure, what he, he, he could actually charge, is limited. He can't throw the cost of doing business onto his customers because they won't come and he'll further lose business. Ladies and gentlemen, that's real. That's real.